Mike, you ready for a punch? Let's make it. Let's do it. Um, so. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hello everyone, Hi. welcome back to another exciting episode of the Revival Social Club. I'm Mike Stojic, that there is Malia Christie. Back stomping around somewhere with all the cameras is David Richards. He's angry, <laughs> he's yelling at everybody. Um, but today we're talking about a, a, a really fun thing. It, you, you can do this at home. Well, ideally you would do this at home and you're entertaining guests, especially if you have lots of guests. We're talking about punch and we're going to go into a little bit of the history of that. But we're not talking punch like that little, um, that little asshole from uh, the Hawaiian punch commercials. <laughs> What's his name? Opie and Punchy. <laughs> when he's like, oh, how about a Hawaiian punch? And then he'd knock his friend. Like, we, we don't want that. We're trying to have a good time. Um, so we're, we're gonna actually, we're gonna make punch. And uh, you know, this is really one of those things, Malia, that I, you know, we could really do like four or five episodes on, and it's, yes. and it's really likely we will. Um, this is just kind of a beginner into it um, episode to create a real quick punch to show you really mm -hmm. how simple it is. And, and you know, don't, um, don't think, really don't think too hard about it. It's right. kind of simple, right? Yeah, there's a there's a few basics that you kind of want to follow, sort of a, a, a loose regiment, but you can get, you can get so creative, um, or if you just you have a few simple ingredients and suddenly you're having uh, that dinner party that you didn't really want to host, you can throw this stuff together and, and all your guests will think you actually like them. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, really, that's that's the that's the fun part about it. You really don't have to try that hard. It's, yeah. It's not. Um, I mean, yeah. yeah. We're going to show you that. But yeah. the fun thing about punch is, and you may not realize this, it has an amazing history, and it and it could possibly be well one of the original forms of cocktail making. Right. I mean, earliest recounts or the earliest counts of, of punch go back to 1632, mm -hmm. which is really freaking crazy to think about. It was, it was a hundred and something years before we were even thinking about America coming online. You know, that was until 1775. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, when you think about it, quite a long time ago. Um, and then in um, 1638 was really the first time that a, a, a recipe was written down okay. for punch by a guy named John Albert de, or Johan, not John, uh, Johan uh, Albert Johan. de Mangalasso. He was a German man, sure. a German, yep, folk working yep. in one of the factories in India. Mm -hmm. um, and he had a really cool recipe that actually called for aquavite, which was kind of the grandfather of, of a lot of spirits today. Is that the which is water the water of life? Latin word for water of life. Um, but his recipe called for aquavite, rose water, juice of citrons, and some sugar. And mm -hmm. that was kind of the earliest forms of punch. And then as kind of punch grew, it, it, it sort of turned into this five recipe thing right. um, um, that they thought the word punch evolved from a more of an Indian word. Uh, for the number five, punch, punch maybe. Punch, um, yes. But if you but if you read maybe David Wandridge's book, which is pretty pretty amazing, literally called Punch. We have it here. Um, he has got to be the world's authority on a lot of cocktails, but most especially punches. And he says, ah, I don't know if that's necessarily true. That it had to do with this Indian right. word punch. It was more likely. Um, that, he, that it was referring to the vessel of which it was served, mm -hmm. which was a smaller barrel or a half barrel that you would have made the punch in to right. serve your guests. Because again, this is for entertaining friends, right? Right, absolutely. And it's something that um, you know he specifically says, and and there are, there are so many different authorities and historians on it. But David Wondrich, along with being like one of my ultimate cocktail bartending heroes. Um, hey Dave. Um, yeah, he, he definitely, you know, he wrote the book Punch. He's, he's been quoted and interviewed and written so many articles and contributed to so many books about 
punch and its long, grandiose history. So, um, so we 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 borrowed a lot of the information from him because there have been so many different um, you know opinions and and people speculating on the origins of punch, uh, but. David's, David Wondrich has done a lot of, of research and, and he's written some great stuff. So I highly, I highly recommend reading his things. But he does point out how you know it was this thing that evolved, like many cocktails did, where people had what they had, you know, in the region where they were, or because they were seafaring people, or because you know people would travel to certain places and come back with certain ingredients and spices. And then they just wanted to share all of it with their friends, and so these kind of things evolved. And there were there have been so many different base spirits, um, as far as rum or whiskey or brandy or um, you know there's champagne in some, there's milk in others. And I know you were going to kind of bring up some of that, but punch is one of those things that um, kind of depending on where you go, they've just kind of adapted a way of doing it, and you can adapt your own way too. Yeah, and you know, he even talks to, you know, one of the reasons why punch is likely not that Indian word for five is because although I think we're going to show you a five ingredient punch, and that's a really cool standard, you know, some of them only had four mm -hmm. ingredients, some had six, some had a whole bunch. It's really like what you just said, you know, you, whatever you have available, you know, you create something with. And, mm -hmm. you know, playing to that seafaring, um, the naval, you know, guys on boats doing things, a punch, and we talked about this in the um, whiskey sour episode, was, you know, there's a lot of citrus in punch. So again, it was a really cool, almost medicinal, where it helped fight off scurvy and dysentery and those sorts of things because you're getting the vitamin C. So, you know, it, it had all these really cool facets. One, it's it's morale boosting. It's you enjoy it because it tastes good. But then it also has this really neat medicinal thing too, especially if you're a sailor. A sailor okay. back in the day, but um, so we're gonna. Malia's gonna show you a, a fairly easy recipe that you guys can do at home. I think we're doing um, five ingredients for this one. If yeah. not, you know, it's real easy to think about. We're, we're five ingredients. One is a spirit. Um, you need some citrus to get that really cool acidity in it. Um, some spice. Um, you can use any kind of spice. Malia's gonna use a tea. Um, something sweet like mm -hmm. sugar, like a simple syrup, um, or like a whatever, demerara, or mm -hmm. whatever you want to use, something sweet. And then um, some water, in this case, I think we're going to add some ice, maybe a little water, and then, you know, to kind of get, get it diluted and, and get it mixed well. Right, and the biggest thing, um, you know, again, I think, you know, David has said this, but also, you know, other places, is that punch was something that it wasn't meant to be, unless everyone's just flocking to the punch bowl all at once. It's not something that's meant to be consumed quickly, and so it's something that evolves. So if you get the first couple ladles out of a punch bowl when you first iced it down, it's going to be stronger. But the idea of punch is that it's going to be a lower alcohol content drink. And it's going to become more diluted as it goes down. But the idea is so that people can drink glasses and glasses and glasses of it. Um, and you know, uh, back in back in the day, especially amongst the the royals, there would be um, even at the signing of the Declaration of Independence. I don't know if you knew, they would serve up to like 120 punch bowls for about 30 people. <laughs> so they were really cranking through this stuff, and not that they weren't hammered off of that much <laughs> punch, but imagine 120 cocktails, you know, over 30 people. So for sure. Um, so this is something that 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 dilution is important, and it's not supposed to be something that that is just extremely strong. You know, you want somewhere between like 16 and and maybe 28 percent alcohol. Um, but yeah, and then there was also a, a little saying that was um, so people could remember some of the ratios. It was one of sour two of sweet, three of strong, four of weak. And then that fifth little, you know, extra baby toe, pinky toe thing of it was um, some kind of spice. And, um, you know, with the, with the tea trade, sometimes it included in that water would be tea, but you don't even have to include teas and things like that. You can just add some nutmeg or cinnamon or something on top, and those are your five key ingredients. Yeah, and so going back to, well, I'm, do you want to start making some? Yeah, And then kind of while Malia is putting that together, um, we really need to do an episode on how influential alcohol was in the construction of America. Yeah. Because in, in a lot of ways it was. And a lot of the founding fathers and a lot of, 
others w that were huge into the to America becoming America. They I mean that was drinking was a huge part of of us becoming what we are, mm -hmm. and really for all cultures. I mean, alcohol has always been a played a major role in it. So right. that's that's definitely one we have to do. And even one of my heroes, Benjamin Franklin, huge fan of punches. In fact, he loved milk punch, which was his thing. And um, I happen to have the recipe right here for Benjamin Franklin's milk punch, or from what I was able to find online. So if you'd like to recreate it, it was six we'll cups. We'll include it in the links below too. Yep. So six cups brandy, eleven lemons, two cups lemon juice four cups of water, three quarter cup of sugar, one whole nutmeg, and three cups of whole milk. And you add all those together and you get Benjamin Franklin's milk punch. Yum yum. So let's make a easy to do punch at home um, that, that has all the, the ingredients and qualities of being just a standard punch and then from there go nuts. Mike, you ready for punch? Let's make it. Let's do it. Um, so. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Ow. Not, right. not, that's like that jerk punching an opie. Meow I don't want that. Uh, I want a good punch. Okay, something that is, I'll cover super short, um, but it's gonna, it's gonna come into more of our punch episodes, uh, is oleosaccharum. I did not make that up. Um, I'd love to say that I did, but oleosaccharum is when you take the peels from any citrus and sugar, you, you press them together and then let them sit and the oils are drawn out by the sugar and then the sugar adds sweetness to that. Um, so you're always gonna wanna make an oleosaccharum first if you have time. If not, um, you can totally just boil down some lemon peels, sugar, water real fast, but this is gonna make a huge difference in your punch. So I've already gotten one started, but I'll show you how to do that. You're gonna wanna take the peel from three to four large lemons and try to get the peel, you know, without as much pith as possible. And you're gonna wanna drop those into a mason jar. After you've peeled your three to four lemons, you're gonna add about three quarters of a cup of white sugar. And then you're gonna wanna take your muddler, everyone knows how much I love a muddler, um, and you're gonna wanna give it a good press. And then you seal that um, and if you can, stick it in the sunlight for 24 hours would be awesome, but eight hours is fine. And what you'll end up with is this juicy, oily, very, very citrusy, bright, sugary substance. So that is what you're gonna wanna put into your punch bowl first. Get a big punch bowl because ideally you'll have more than one or two people showing up to drink it. If not, lucky you. So you're going to want to get all of that into your punch bowl. And then you're still going to want to add, reserve your lemons that you peeled. You're going to want to add three quarters of a cup of fresh squeezed lemon juice. Um, if you can, strain it so that you don't have pieces of um, the lemon in your uh, punch. But if not, it'll settle to the bottom and it just gives a character. So three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice. And then to that, so you've got your citrus, you've got your sweet, you're going to want to add your booze, of course, and we're doing a just classic easy rum punch. And we're going to, this is one time when I will say that definitely the quality of your spirit matters. We're doing a just simple rum punch, but your, your quality of your rum is really going to be the most important part. So we're going to use Mount Gay Black Barrel Rum. And this is one where for what you've added so far with your oleosaccharum and your lemon juice, the fun part is you pour the whole thing in. I know. It's like it, it really is like one of the more fun cocktails because you're really, you're just dumping a whole bottle. And like in no other cocktail you dump an entire bottles in. You're right. usually measuring with a jigger and you're doing this and you're doing that. And this one's like, ah. Dump the whole put, thing put in the there. Put the thing in there. It's going to be fine. I know. And, Everything's great. And of course, like, um, you know, all the other cocktails, it's like three quarters of this, a quarter of that, a bar spoon of this, only two dashes of that. This is just a, this is a very loose interpretation of things. We're going to do it, you know, kind of specifically the way some of the greats have made their recipes and following these kind of ratios. But if you accidentally put in a bottle and a quarter 
or add a bottle and a splash of brandy or something else, like people aren't gonna hate you. No one's gonna walk up and go, hey, there's too much booze in my yeah, punch. And the other thing too is with that, you really change the dynamic and the depth and the complexity if you're doing a little bit of rum, maybe a, a bottle of rum and then like quarter bottle of brandy or you know, yeah. or half bottle of rum, half bottle of brandy, you know, really mix it up and play with it because it changes the dimension of the cocktail. Right, and when you look at the recipe, which of course we'll have in the links below, you'll see that there's kind of going to be these general ra ratios, but play with it however you want and substitute certain amounts and it's just, it's only going to get better from there. So now it's time to add the boring part, the weak, which is going to be the water. But, because I just can't do anything simple, um, I added a little spice. So I added chai tea um, to a quart of water. I did two tea bags. So that's gonna be part of the spice that's incorporated. So you're gonna pour that into your punch. Now everything you need is in your punch bowl right now. Give it a stir with whatever you want. I'm gonna stir with a muddler, cause I love a muddler. So we've got our punch here. What? Come on, muddling is fun. I know, it's always... Plus good. you can say muddler, you can say muddler, you can say whatever you want. And then you're gonna want to always dilute I your like to punch. I say, let's muddler. get down, muddler. Come on, you big <laughs> muddler. So you're gonna, wanna, you're gonna wanna add a little more of your dilution is gonna come from your ice. Some places you go, like real fancy places, or if you have the time and the capacity to do it, they'll place a huge block of ice in there. Um, we're, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna put a bunch of ice in here, and this is kind of just for showman purposes. Um, you'd probably wanna do about twice this amount of ice, but you wanna ice it down. And if your guests can wait, you know, give it, give it five, 10 minutes, um, I wouldn't be able to wait, so I would probably just get right in. But something that I always, always, always recommend, and I know it's also one of David Wondrich's favorite things, is to top your punch off with nutmeg, grated nutmeg. You can do, like I said, cinnamon sticks, you can do cloves, you can do star anise, you can do whatever you want, star anise, star anise, whatever, I like star anise, it just sounds less like a bad word. Um, but don't be shy with the with the nutmeg. Like, really get after it. Benjamin Franklin also really likes nutmeg too. Um, I mean, who doesn't love nutmeg? I like that guy. He's America's pimp man. Favorite. Our David, our David Richards in the background. He's girls like, in France, nutmeg. girls in America. Yeah, it was all over the place. Do it. Get it with the nutmeg. Yeah. Benjamin Franklin. So a ton of nutmeg. You could go way harder on the nutmeg here, but I've gone about half maybe to a third of nutmeg. And then like with garnish, you can put you can put rose petals in, you can put citrus slices, you can put fruit in. Um, it's only gonna just add to the fun. And then the way to drink it, there is one fun fact that for a long time, uh, Punch Bowl was a communal glass and everyone drank from the punch bowl and it's actually coming back into vogue again um, but usually wherever you go they're going to serve you a punch bowl and then they'll serve you glasses a lot of times they're glass teacups and so you want to ladle some in mike will you do the honors oh first? man i love ladling just about as much as you love <laughs> muddling <laughs> muddling and ladling muddling and ladling fill that guy up No punch for you, Dave. No punch for Dave. So Dave is too busy stomping this around. This is your typical rum punch, and you can go crazy as you like with it, but this is my rum punch. This is yours. Cheers. Here we are. Cheers. Yeah, it's really good. Of course it is. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. Thanks so much for joining us on our wild punch adventure. We hope you enjoyed it and that you're probably home making your own punch now to serve to all your friends or your neighbors, or maybe you're just gonna do it for yourself. 
and you know, just have a nice, nice night. Which if is, so, which drink nice. out of the bowl. Definitely drink out drink of the out bowl. Of the bowl. I, we highly yeah. recommend that. Yeah. Um, if you like what you saw, please like and subscribe below. Um, check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Um, check the links also for different recipes and for some bar tools if you're looking to really up your home bartending game where we have Barfly products there and some of our own glassware. So um, take a look, look around, buy some cool stuff and um, we will forever be grateful uh, to you. And with that, once again, thanks. I'm gonna grab my punch here. Oh, and, um, and oops, let me get that for you. Thanks. <laughs> All right, thanks guys, we'll see you next time. See you guys. Bye.